All right, so we already know of some of the troubleshooting things that we can look at to identify and fix problems re related to Cisco Umbrella and more specifically DNS policies. But what happens if none of that works and we need to contact Cisco Umbrella support? What we can actually do and what will be normally required when you do contact support is information that is useful and relevant to the support team around your Umbrella instance. And to get that information, we have something called the Umbrella Diagnostics tool. And if you navigate to the link I have shared in the previous lesson around the Diagnostics tool, this is a page you're gonna be presented with. And it's got a lot of information that I suggest you read, especially if you need to go down this route. It's got information around how you can get diagnostics from the Umbrella roaming client um, or the roaming module if you're using Cisco AnyConnect or the Cisco Secure client. It's got the um, information around the diagnostic tool standalone with uh, Microsoft Windows and also for Mac as well. And it's also got the links as well at the bottom of this page for you to be able to download. It also has a Linux one as well. And it's got some commands here that you can enter as well. So this is really useful. And I do recommend that if you are running into issues and you are going to contact Cisco Umbrella Support that you have this handy. So what we'll do is we'll just quickly download the uh, diagnostics tool here. And there you go. So you can see very quick and easy to download and we can see that we have a nice simple application that we can use to run some tests and again refer to this document if you want to do specific things but what we'll do is we'll just quickly show you this so that you have an idea of kind of how it works uh, moving forward so you can see this is the one for uh, windows and we can test against a specific domain so let's just say facebook.com again because that's the one we've been using in our lab walkthroughs and let's run this test and you can see it's doing a number of tests in the background we can actually see it's running 46 tests and you can see the the uh, progress that's being made so we can actually see it's 33 out of 46 at the moment so we'll just allow that to finish and we'll see what information we can see from this Okay, so now you can see 46 out of 46 tests have been run and finished. So you've got all these little bits of information in here that you can kind of look at. But one of the important things is if you're contacting support is we actually get a diagnostics ID as well. So when you open in a support case, if you specify this diagnostics ID, that will really help. And that's all there is to it, to the diagnostics tool that we can use with Cisco Umbrella. Let's get on to the next lesson.